a 67-year-old civil engineer whose passion for agriculture drove him to dabble in paddy planting for the past 30 years, has now embarked on a new project, planting rice on floating platforms. Tam Pak Suyo said his method has produced positive results, as he was able to get double the yield of rice grown on the platforms compared to those that were grown on soil. In initial infrastructure costs uh, of developing the conventional uh, this uh, rice farming uh, is quite high because it needs you know, source of water, it needs the infrastructure for the roads, for the irrigation canal, for the drainage, you know, and of course, you know, all these uh, water control structures. Lah. And at the same time, they need maintenance. But in this way, the maintenance is very little. And then the initial infrastructure cost uh, is minimum, as long as we find some low-lying area, mm. okay, suitable so the then, we either build a pond or build a barn mm. to contain the water with about 1.5 meter deep. Mm. That's good enough. To me, let's say, instead of developing a new area for the rice farming, for the set of increase the food production, mm. why not we think of alternative way, which is a shortcut, okay? And then also uh, much faster to mm. produce the rice. Thum, who has a civil engineering degree from University Malaya, said his passion for paddy cultivation started when he met his wife who is from Sikinchen, which is famous for its highest paddy fields achieved in the country. So, of course, that time they are using a conventional method. Mm. Uh, so, in the sense, that's why I said, if we can commercialize it, I think they will be good. Mm. Mm. Of course, there are so many you know, factors that uh, we have to consider. La. First of all, land availability. Mm. Uh, okay, the cost of development and infrastructure. Mm. Because all the rice fields in Malaysia are developed by government. If you want to do it commercially, so you have to start with everything on your own, then it will be very tough. He says with his platform method, he was able to do three times planting and harvesting annually, and the yield was also much higher. His floating paddy platform is similar to cultivating fish in cages on a floating platform. Each platform is filled with high quality soil and planted with about 550 rice seedlings, and the soil is constantly moist, and this helps promote the plant growth. Thumb who is the founder of Koref Desaru Leisure Farm Sendirian Berhad in Desaru, said that presently, he has about 19 platforms in his pond, which were all planted with Malaysian Agricultural Research and Development Institute rice variety. Actually, uh, it can be any type of grain also can. But the thing is that, uh, uh, most importantly, of course, the type of grain that, first of all, whether it can marketable, you know, good market price or not. So, of course, the most convenient one that we just adopt our current muddy, mm. you know, bread uh, variety. La. Of course, there can be many other varieties as well, mm -hmm. you know, from any other country also can. But uh, most importantly is that they must be, you know, economically adopted to the condition. He also plans to try with other varieties, including red and black glutinous rice. Growing up in an estate with eight other siblings, he has been tapping rubber since he was nine years old and is the only graduate in the family. We have to work and feed ourselves in the sand. Ah. So we have so many, you see. And then luckily that also, uh, fortunately in the sand that lah. So I was the one that uh, able to make it to the university. Lah. Thumb's first foray into paddy was in his early 30s, when he was asked to rehabilitate, including doing land clearing works and irrigation infrastructure for a 607 hectare rice field in Kuala Rompin in Pahang in 1992. So after, after I've been there for almost six years, so in 1998, then we moved to Kaham, small rice irrigation area. Then we rehabilitated there about 300 acres of the land area there. Tam hopes the government would help fund his floating platform technique as it could be a pilot project. Actually, to me, if uh, our governments are can uh, you know adopt la, a brief and new way approach la. I think there's a fantastic hope la, in the sand because we got we got sunlight we got water in fact we got low lying area just a matter that the uh, you know government have a location you know to develop this thing so it will be surely success one. Thumb says he is willing to collaborate with local farmers especially the young wanting to try out planting rice via floating platforms. Yeah.